Okay, this video electrician will get smooth muscle in a little bit more detail. So smooth muscle, this is how it would look under a microscope. Now, what we're looking at here, and there's the same image, cells are long and spindle shaped. They each contain a single nucleus and cellular microfilaments are loosely organized. We often call these sheets of cells. So when we look at this image, it might be a little hard to be able to tell that. When we look at the kind of representation image here, we see a, these distinctive features uh, coming into play. Now, a relaxed, smooth muscle cell is going to look like this. Say they're kind of long spindle shaped. This is kind of what we mean. When they're contracted, they take on this kind of bunched up appearance. They kind of take this kind of clumpy look here uh, versus their normal relaxed spindle shape. So there, where, are, where is smooth muscle found? Well, it's found in the walls of blood vessels, the stomach, and the intestines. And this is, if you were to take a cross-section, this is what it would look like. Now, the nucleus is one per cell, and it's centrally, lo centrally located in each cell. The smooth muscle cell is elongated spindle shape and much smaller than a skeletal muscle cell if you were to compare the two directly. That relaxed shape, that spindle shape, and then here's that contracted, that kind of bunched look. The advantage of smooth muscles is it provides powerful rhythmic involuntary contractions. Uh, this is helpful to move food through the stomach, through the intestines, to help blood go through the vessels. Um, all these things are very important, and this involuntary means we don't have to think about it. They're known for their um, slow, sustained contractions. Um, they're autonomous, meaning they're non-voluntary uh, control. They just happen. They do contain actin and myosin filaments, but lack sarcomeres. And predominant locations are wall of the GI tract, that's the gastrointestinal tract, walls of the arteries and veins, and around glands. It's typically where you'll find these smooth muscles. So even though we don't have direct control over them, they do provide us with some very necessary uh, everyday functions of the body.